In this video, I'm going to tell you about the best hobby for a nomad. I've been doing this hobby for years and it so matches up with the nomad spirit. I travel around the country, I meet new people, I visit with friends and family, and I also like to visit what I call my, <laughs> my dead family. I'm talking about genealogy. Since being on the road, I like to work into my trips, going around and finding out information on my ancestors. There used to be a joke at work. The Christmas holidays would come around and we would have three or four days off. And my coworkers would ask me if I was gonna spend time with my family. And I always answered yes, with my dead family that is. This gave me time to actually do research, to follow up on leads. Some would lead me down rabbit trails of useless information. But there was always a time when I would find the information that I needed. My grandmother introduced me to genealogy when I was a young teenager. She was a member of the DAR, which is the Daughters of the American Revolution. And she introduced me to one of my ancestors that is considered a war hero during the Revolutionary War. Her name was Dicey Langston. I am in Traveler's Rest, South Carolina, where Dicey lived and is buried. Dicey has been getting a lot of attention here lately in Traveler's Rest. I will tell you more about that in a minute. Just briefly, I want to tell you a little bit about Dicey. She was born in 1766 and was known as Daring Dicey. She is mostly known for saving her brother James and his company traveling during the night to warn them of an attack. Basically, she was a spy. She was only 15 years old at the time. She also saved her father by standing between him and a barrel of a rifle. She was a brave, brave woman. I couldn't have done it. In 1933, a monument was erected close to where her house once stood. Well, I am now at the library, so let's see if I can find out any information of where this monument's located and if there really is still a cemetery. So let's go inside. Okay, I got a little bit more information from the library. I do have a drawn map where the um, monument is. So that is where I'm headed now to go look at the monument. She is buried here in Traveler's Rest at the Springfield Langston Cemetery. However, I did find that the cemetery is located on private property and I was not able to go there in spite of several attempts. So what's the big news that's happening here? The city and the historical society wants to tell Dossie's story here on Main Street. They're wanting to build a life-size bronze statue of Dicey. They have the artist already lined up, and he has already crafted the model of the future statue. So I am on Main Street, and I talked to the gentleman at the library, and he gave me this location of where the statue is going to be standing. I will provide links below to the information about the statue. You can see pictures of it there. So what's needed to see Dicey on Main Street? Money. It needs to be funded. I'm doing this video mostly for my family to share it with them and to tell them about their ancestors. The Dicey Langston Project has challenged the descendants of Dicey to donate $35. They have set up a GoFundMe page and I will be making my donation. So members of my family, go over there right now and donate. Put Dicey on Main Street. Of course, any others that would like to see a woman or hero remembered properly, you can donate too. 
As I said, I will leave the links below. The first one is to the Dicey Langston Project, and the second one is to the GoFundMe page. Let's put Dicey on Main Street!